You know, Mike, I, I tell you, I listen to you guys talk, and it kind of it, it's really emotional for me because I was so lucky early on to get to know this guy. I remember when I was 28, Billy Martin used to bring all of us to camp, and uh, we'd walk around behind him. He'd teach us the drills and the fundamentals, the way he wanted it done. And Whitey one day said, hey, kid, I hear you play golf. Come on, you're going to play golf with me and Cleet. And we got through the round. I'm sitting there having a beer with Whitey Ford. I used to watch this guy on Game of the Week. It was unbelievable how humble he was and, and what a normal guy he was. He came in one time and said, hey, Mickey needs to dress in here in an old-timers game. It's too crowded out there. Whitey Ford's asking me permission to, to dress in my office. Heck, I would have went and got in his locker. But every spring training, he wanted to work. He didn't want to be there as some figurehead. That's what I remember about him. He goes, kid, what can I do to help you? I said, well, we got this guy that's got an elbow injury, and he's not going to pitch this year, but he needs to play catch in his rehab on the backfield. His name's Mariano Rivera. And I remember him coming in. He said, hey, I'm going to ice my hand. You might want to keep an eye on this guy because I can't catch this ball in the webbing of my glove. It's got late movement and late life. He says, Gidry can have it tomorrow. I'm not catching this guy anymore. And he didn't care where he was announced in the old-timers game. He had no ego, and he loved the Yankees. He certainly had his place. Some great memories there, and tributes to Whitey Ford have been pouring in throughout the day on social media, including some from other Hall of Famers. On Twitter, Jim Palmer said Ford was his childhood hero, and writer Claire Smith remembered him as a gentleman and a joy to know.